Hi, welcome to the pre-calculus lecture series. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the chapter seven practice test. So for this practice test in this video, I'm going to only do like a part of the practice test and to help you to get started and you can finish the remaining, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what type of the problems we're going to have in the practice test here. Okay, so the first problem one to five is we want to find the verified identities here. So the problem I'm going to do is the one I highlight in the red. So for the problem two, I think this one's here requires some special skill. And uh, so that's why I like to show you how do I do it here, okay? So the, in here, we always say that, you know, start out the one side, you think it's more complicated. So I think uh, I would do is uh, said, okay, let's start with the left-hand side, right? Uh, so the, here is the left-hand side. So this is the tangent x, one minus the cosine x is here. So because we have a cosecant secant, so let's just change to the definition. So this is a reciprocal sine over cosine x is a what? Is a tangent, right? Okay, so now this one's here, this I have one minus the cosine x is here. You know, now I look my answers here, right? So the, let me simplify this is a little bit. So this is the sine x. So this is the cosine x. This is one minus the cosine x. Okay, so I look at my, the final answer, the goal I try to achieve, F1 plus the second x. I know the second is reciprocal of cosine, but in here I have one minus, I don't have the one plus. So the tricks here is I'm going to multiply. Okay, so this is the what I want to show you here. So I want to multiply, this is one minus cosine x, over one minus cosine x, right? Because one over cosine x, one minus cosine x equal to one. So I really did not change the, this uh, equations here. Okay, so now take a look at the top will become sine x. This is one minus cosine x is here, right? Oh, I'm sorry here. I'm going to do a plus here, right? Okay, that's what I mean, the plus. Okay, so then the bottom here, this is a cosine x. Okay, so now take a look at this two. This is one minus cosine x is one plus cosine x. So a minus b times a plus b, what do you have here? You have a square, right? So it's one square minus b squared, so it's minus cosine squared x. Okay, now continues here. So here, I still have a top, this is a sine x, this is one plus cosine x, right? So here's the act of cosine x. So what is one minus cosine x? Ah, it's a sine squared x. Right, because from here to here, I use the Pythagorean theory, right? So we say the Pythagorean, what is Pythagorean here? Is sine square plus cosine square equal to what? Equal to one. So that's why you can replace one minus cosine square equal to the sine square. So did you see something good? Oh yes, here this is a sine. I have a sine square, so I cancel, I get a one sine left. Right. Okay, so now in here, I have one sine x is here, left here. Then I have a cosine here. Then I have one plus cosine x here. Now you look at your final answer. Then you say, hey, this one, pretty good. This one is equal to the cosine x. So I still have one plus the second x. Now I can change this, right? Okay, so now, I will put this one into a cosecant x here, right? So the, now I change everything to second. So this is one plus, what is the cosine? It's one over second x here, right? 
then the button I have a cosine. So what is cosine? One over second x is here. Okay, so this is a cosecant x, then times, what is we do here? Common denominator, so it's a second x. So common denominator is here, so this is a second x plus one over one over second x is here. Now, this is a cosecant x. Now you can switch this one, become one plus a second x. This is a second x. Then you flip the buttons, right? So you flip the button, second x. Ah, that's very beautiful, right? Second and the second cancel. So what is my answers here? My answer finally go back to here. So what is my answer? It will be second x, one plus second x. This is equal to my right hand side. So done, I proved it, all right? So the tricks here is, you know, multiply these things here, right? So you will get the one plus at the end here. Okay, now let's take a look at the problem number three here. So let's take a look at how do I prove it? I will still start with my left-hand side because left-hand side look is a little bit more complicated. So this is a two tangent x, one plus a tangent square x. Okay, so now let's see here two, because I want the sine, so I want to change the sine x cosine x, right? So that's the change. And then one plus sine x cosine x the square, correct? Okay, now I'm simplify that. So the top will be cosine x two sine x, right? Bottom will be one plus sine square x cosine square x, okay? Now, continue. So this will be the two sine x cosine x common denominator. So cosine square x, so what is here? This will be a cosine square x plus sine square x. Wow, good things happen. What did you see here? Whoa, this one is equal to what? This one is equal to one is because of the Pythagorean identities, right? Okay, so now I have a two sine x, cosine x, then one over cosine square x, simplify the fraction. So it's a two sine x, cosine x, flip, right? So you flip to cosine square x one. Wow, let's see here. Anything I can cancel? Oh yeah, cosine, cosine, I can cancel out this square. So what is my, after I cancel that, I have a two sine x, cosine x. Oh, double angle formula. So this is equal to sine what? Two x is equal to my right hand side. So done, right? So the proof is done see here. So those proof is not too extremely difficult. It's just back and forth. So you try to use the different formulas. So, you know, you have the formula sheets handy and then you'll be able to do that. Okay, now let's the next problem I want to do is the problem number seven see here. So in here they said, uh, I want to find the angle. The angle is alpha and the beta. I'm looking for is the cosine alpha plus beta. So the first thing here, you will say the cosine alpha plus beta. So this is the summation formula. So it's a cosine cosine. So it's a cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta, right? right? Okay, so now I need to do something about this uh, triangle, so make it useful. So this is one and two. So what is this hypotenuse? It's two square plus one square is what? It's five. Okay, so this theta triangle here, this is three, this is two. So Pythagorean series nine minus four, this is the square root of five, correct? All right, so now I can just substitute. So I'm going to use the, Alpha, I'm going to use the green. So 
alpha. So anything related to the alpha, I'm going to use the green. Anything related to the beta, I'm going to use red, right? So it's a color coding. Hope you can get better understanding here. So cosine alpha cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's two square roots of what? Five. Then cosine beta, beta is here, right? So it's adjacent over hypotenuse so times adjacent over hypotenuse, right? And here, then here you have a minus sine alpha is related to the green one, sine opposite over adjacent. So it's one over square root of the phi. Then cosine and sine beta, beta is opposite over hypotenuse so here. Okay, so now in here, let's see what happened. Oh, this is good. So this is a two third minus two, three square roots of the five, right? So if you want to simplify a little bit, you can say this is a three square roots of the five, and then this is a two square roots of the five minus two. All right, so that will be the answer. So this problem, try to test your understanding first. You need to use these formulas, right? So you need to use the summation formula, break it down. Then you need to know how to find the angle from the triangle, you know, from the, your triangles here. All right, that's number seven. Okay, so now the next thing here I want to do is number 10 here. Solve the trig equation. Okay, so this one here is pretty nice. They already factored for you. So that means we learned if it's a factor, then what you set equal to zero, then solve it, right? Okay, now let's see here. So see, we remember how to solve it now. So this is a two cosine theta minus one equal to zero. So that means the cosine theta equal to what? Equal to one half, right? Okay, so cosine theta equal to one half. Okay, so now let's take a look at the cosine here. Remember we said we're always going to back to the graph. So. Okay, so this is a pi over two here. This is a pi, this is a three pi over two, and here, this is a two pi. Okay, cosine equal to one half is here, all right? Cosine equal to one half. So the negative one half, neg next, next one half is here, all right? Okay, so one half is the sixties, right? So the pi over three, correct? So one half is the pi over three. So the theta is here for the cosine here. So theta is the pi over three. That means uh, the distance, uh, that means the distance from here to here is pi over three. So we know my next one half is here, right? So that means that I know the distance from here to here is what? Pi over three. So how do I get my next distance here? The theta will be what? Two pi minus pi over three, right? So what do I have here? I have five pi over three. Okay, now I find the sign next one and we all so the general solutions, right? So in here, they did not say, so we say it's a plus or minus how many? 2k pi here, right? This is a plus or minus 2k pi, right? So now the next thing here is this one. So it's a sine theta equal to one here. Okay, sine theta equal to one. Let's take a look, where are they? Okay, so the sine theta, hey, I only get one is in here, right? So this one's here is a pi over what? It's a pi over two here, right? So this is a pi over two. Good, okay, so what is the theta's here? Theta's here, this is the pi over two. Of course, for the general solution is what? It's plus or minus two k pi. So for this province here is my solution, all right? All right, 
Let's take a look at problem number 12 again. Uh, problem number 12. This is a sine two theta and the cosine theta. Hmm. So the first things I will think about, how do I solve it? Maybe I can factor. So what is a two theta? You say, oh, two theta is a double angle. So I can change the two theta to the two sine theta, cosine theta minus the cosine theta, right? So you use the double angle formula, right? So this will be equal to zero. So from here to here is you use the double angles formulas, right? Now you see the cosine, so you can factor the cosine theta out. So what do you hear? You have two sine theta minus one equal to zero. So just like we say, you the product of the two values, then what is the and how do you solve it? You set each one equal to zero, right? So you set the cosine theta equal to zero. Okay, so now let's take a look at cosine theta. Where is the cosine theta equal to zero, right? So it's here and here. Okay, so what is my theta? Theta is a pi over two, and the theta is equal to what? Three pi over two. Right, so this is the pi over two here. This is the three pi over two. Make a cosine equal to zero. Of course, the general solution is a plus minus two k pi, right? Because the period for the cosine is two pi. So you plus minus two k pi. Okay, now let's take a look at the next one here. So this is a two sine theta minus one equal to zero. So that means the sine theta equal to what? It's one half. I think we did this many times already. So the sine is graph like this, right? So the one half is here. Right, so one half is here. And uh, so this is a pi over two, this is a pi, this is a three pi over two, this is a two pi. Okay, so now let's take a look at the angles is here. So the theta, go to the special unit circle, one half is pi over where? Pi over six is here, right? So pi over six, that means the distance from here to here is pi over six, right? Okay, so it's a pi over six. And then what is the, you know, the, pi over six, right? So the next one's here. So that means from here to here, the distance pi over six. So my next theta is equal to what? It's a pi minus a pi over six. So it's a five pi over six, correct? Okay, now you do the general solutions, right? So this is a plus minus two k pi, again, because sine is two pi. This is a plus minus two k pi. So here is my solutions, right? So my solution is this box and uh, this box here. Okay, good. Okay, so let's do one more problem for this uh, practice test here. So this is number 14. I want to find the exact value. So this is a talk about the arcs arc the uh, inverse trig also. So first things here, I need to take in care is here, arc tangent 940, right? Remember, so what do we do, we do here? You do a triangle. So this is a theta, right? So arc ten is the opposite over adjacent. So this is a nine and this is a 40. Then this uh, hypotenuse will be 40 to the square plus nine to the square. Turns out to be pretty beautiful. It's a 41 here. So this is uh, the theta. Okay, so now I have a change this one to a cosine two theta. Okay, so for the cosine two theta, I have three formula. You can choose any one you like. So I choose one minus two sine square theta. 
So this is one minus two. What is the sign? It's the opposite over hypotenuse, right? So it's nine over 41, right? So it's nine over 41, the square. And uh, the answers here, if you put it into your calculator, it will be 719 to the 800s here. Okay, that's it. Uh, you know, those are the problems get around the seven in chapter seven practice test. And I hope that this can help you to finish the remaining problems. All right. Okay, that's it. Uh, and uh, have a good day. And uh, don't forget to work on the practice test, all right? So you can master your skill. All right, that's it. Have a good day and uh, talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.